I don't even know what it says. Climate disinformation, get that immunization, the vaccine for bad meme infiltration. Climate misinformation, it leads to polarization, which leads to radical conspiracy ideation. Simultaneous translation between conspiracy theories and violent means of change embracement. Economic incentives or ideological basis, it doesn't matter, cause either way it's still Disinformation, climate change is upon us and emissions are like a bomb as the wave of increasing heat carries on and on. The wave of disinformation keeps on getting shared online. Trapped by the lab of Marie-Eve Carignan from Université Sherbrooke. According to her book, the anti-government left and right now share a yearbook. And when it comes to floods, droughts, and wildfires, even today's environmentalists can be climate deniers. Those are the yoga QAnon people up in the mix. Marie Eve tracks the patterns with the acronym FLIP. False experts, fallacious logic, unrealistic expectations, cherry picking and conspiracy theory ideation, that's FLIP. Advertisers can help us find the fix. The climate host is exposed, brought to you by Wix. From the false promotion of bad pollutions and tricks, to the outright denialism saying it doesn't exist. There's a reason for the IPCC. It doesn't make assumptions, make your advertising conscious. Take it from Jake Dubbins. Yes, we need free speech to get the facts in the fight. But like Jake said, ad revenue is not a human right. It's not the usual track, but we can do it with the facts. We can fund it with Article 12 of the Paris Climate Pact. Get the cash into the countries and let the humans interact with the facts. Climate outreach from Nora Farrat. Like every given Sunday, we're fighting for every inch. I hope the simultaneous translation is making sense. I can see them scrambling in the booth. Y'all, it looks tense. But like Nora said, Bonjour, that's the extent of my French. So hey, we have to make it translate to have hope and get the climate policy analysts like Andrian Brazo and get the ministers on it like Stefan Gilbo. I'm glad you came back, he left half an hour ago. But hey, he was here to represent and he spoke on it clear, denying the problem. It doesn't make it disappear, the consequences are severe. There's a narrow corridor and if we miss it, the economic costs are gonna be more and more. So inform, say more. Let the folks know what they're in for. Don't just question whether it's warmer, how to weather the storm. Question how we're gonna transform energy storage and production so we can reduce emissions like never before without making it worse for the poor. With the global south, climate change information. It embraces the doubt, answers every question with evidence, works it out. That's the scientific method. So who's persuadable now? And how are indigenous wisdom traditions afforded a voice in the conversation today, y'all? We heard it from Jordan, the people on the ground harvesting and planting on from Africa to Indonesia to Panama to Saskatchewan. This is everybody, little by little, let the message get exposed. Let the human mind follow the evidence where it goes. And don't forget to champion that message of hope, because doom and gloom, it's always going to be met with a no. It's climate disinformation, so get the immunization, get the vaccine for the bad meme infiltration. Climate misinformation, it leads to poor which leads to conspiracies and radical ideation, simultaneous translation between conspiracy theories and violent means of change, embracement, economic incentives, and yield ecological basis. Either way, still call it what it is, disinformation. Make some noise if you're ready to stand up to the disinformation. Yeah.